Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I'm Joanna and in this video, I'm going to be testing out a truly weird toy kit. You can use it to create these strange water squishies or tiny jelly balls that look like Orbeez. You can also mix glitter or pigments inside to produce a slime-like substance. So how does all of this work and what is it made of? Just keep on watching to find out. If you're new here, then be sure to hit that subscribe button to Macaroon and Cute Life Hacks for more unusual DIYs like this. This kit is from Banggood.com and I've included the shopping link below. The product is called Magical Water Elf, which is simply a brand name and this doesn't give any indication of what the ingredients contain. The instructions are in Chinese, so I had my dad help me translate them. The steps are actually really simple, so you'll understand what to do just by watching this video. First, you get a white powder, which is labeled as Water Elf Powder. This reminds me a bit of the Jelly Worlds kit, since the ingredients are not specified. But as always, we're going to try to find out what they are over the course of this video. Then you have lots of molds, which lets you create different shapes, followed by various tubes of colored gel. These have a thick but non-sticky consistency, kind of similar to shower gel. You also get different types of glitter, and I was quite impressed by how generous the packaging size is. This is way more than you need for this kit, so you can keep the rest for crafting. Then we've got a few more templates, as well as a mixing spoon. So the first step is to mix 1 liter of water with the white powder and stir until dissolved. You can do this inside the container from the kit, which is quite convenient. The temperature and hardness of the water doesn't make a difference here. However, I did find that you have to stir for quite some time before all the powder is gone. Next, you have to soak or rinse the mold in the liquid for about 10 seconds and then start filling it with the gel. I decided to go with the rainbow heart since I didn't want to use up too much of one color. This gel has a faint earthy smell which reminds me a bit of air dry clay, but it's definitely not unpleasant. The liquid has no smell at all, so this DIY doesn't really need any ventilation. In the final step, you're supposed to dip the mold into the liquid, and the colored gel should solidify in the same shape as your template. Unfortunately, mine started shrinking right away and it ended up forming a ball instead of a heart, but nevertheless, this was pretty cool to watch. A skin starts forming over the gel so you can pick it up with your fingers, but as you can see, I did this a bit too early and it started to leak. At this point, I have a fairly good idea of what's actually inside the ingredients. Some of you might remember those edible water bottle DIYs from a few years ago, and this kit uses the exact same process, which is called spherification. The white powder is most likely calcium chloride, which is a relatively non-toxic compound similar to salt. It's actually used most often in winter to remove snow and ice from roads, so when people say that there's salt on the roads, they're actually talking about calcium chloride and not sodium chloride. Just like salt, calcium chloride is non-toxic in small doses, so this is why it can be used in a children's toy kit. However, non-toxic is not the same thing as edible, so all the things made using this kit are definitely not suitable for consumption. These colorful tubes of gel contain sodium alginate, which is a substance made from seaweed and also non-toxic. When sodium alginate comes in contact with calcium chloride, a membrane starts forming around the outermost layer. This will get thicker the longer you leave it inside the solution.
for my second attempt, I tried making another heart, but this also turned into an egg shape. However, the skin didn't break this time, so it was really fun to play with. It literally looks like a combination between a slime and a squishy, though of course, chemically, it's not related to either of those. Another easy thing you can do with this kit is to make DIY Orbeez. Instead of using the molds, just squeeze blobs of gel directly into the solution. These will solidify immediately and turn into tiny jelly balls. This method is often used in popping cooking kits to create fake noodles or caviar. I'm actually curious to see whether these jelly balls will shrink like Orbeez if you leave them in the air, or if they'll end up dissolving into small puddles. If you also want to know what happens, then please follow me on Instagram under my username Macaroon, and I'll post the update on my stories in the next few days. The one thing I still can't figure out is how to create cool shapes like this using the molds. The instructions do mention filling the mold exactly to the top and using a gentle shaking technique when placing it in the water. But sadly, my attempt at making this cute dolphin turned into complete nightmare fuel. It looks more like a blue slug with a giant eyeball. In order to make perfect shapes, I think you need a lot more practice with this method, or there might be a problem with the concentration of the solution. Eagle-eyed viewers might have spotted something at the very beginning of this video. On the instruction sheet, even if you can't read Chinese, it looks like it says 50 grams of powder for 1 liter of water. However, on the packet itself, it says 20 grams per liter. I went into the product description page and it states that the powder is calcium lactate, which is a very similar substitute for calcium chloride. The only difference is that calcium lactate is much more expensive because it doesn't have a salty taste. For this reason, calcium lactate is normally only used for edible spherification projects, such as molecular gastronomy in expensive restaurant kitchens. I find it hard to imagine that a kid's toy kit, which is not even supposed to be edible in the first place, would contain the more expensive calcium lactate. I think the instruction sheet might have been written for calcium lactate, but in the end, the cheaper calcium chloride was used. Calcium lactate is also less concentrated, so you do have to use twice as much powder per liter of water to get the same effect. However, all of this still doesn't explain why the gel shrinks into a ball instead of holding its shape. But upon further investigation, I realized there's a very obvious reason for it. The packet of powder actually contains 40 grams instead of 20 grams of calcium chloride. By mixing everything in at once, I made the solution far too concentrated, so that caused the skin to form far too quickly around the sodium alginate. This pulls the entire gel together to create an egg shape, instead of leaving it in the shape of the mold. So if you decide to get this kit, then be sure to only add half the bag of powder for one liter of water and save the rest up for later. This is further proof that kids' toys tend to contain slightly frustrating instructions, 
However, you can usually fix it with a bit of research. I have to say in this case, even the failed version was immensely satisfying to play with. For the final experiment, I'm going to make a galaxy style water egg by mixing glitter inside a round spoon. Then I'm adding some blue, pink and purple gel and carefully submerging this into the liquid. I'm poking it slightly with a spoon so the liquid can get underneath the ball and help it form a membrane. The result is this cool squishy egg which you can pop. With enough practice, you can even create water eggs that contain items inside like this. The advantage of this kit is that it contains everything you need to get started right away with spherification. If you want to, then you can order all the ingredients separately online, such as calcium chloride and sodium alginate. However, it's quite tricky to figure out the exact measurements yourself. You'll also need to create all of the colored gel from scratch and find your own template. So I think this kit really takes a huge chunk of work away by giving you everything ready-made. If you have some calcium solution left, then you can always keep that for future projects. I'm going to keep mine inside a bottle, and if you do the same, then be sure to label the front extremely clearly so there's no chance anyone could mistake the liquid for water. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see what happened to the tiny jelly bubbles. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!